A new mask recommendation has been issued in Sacramento County. Similar to Yolo County, public health officials are recommending you mask up while indoors. This after an increase in cases from the Delta variant. Health officials say even if you're vaccinated, you're still strongly recommended to wear a mask indoors where vaccination verification is not required and the vaccination status of others is unknown. The most important uh, thing that we can do right now to get us out of this the current surge is vaccination. So in Sacramento County, that has been our focus. And of course, we have had discussions about masking, but um, it's only up to this week when we started seeing uh, a sharp increase in cases that we reassessed um, that. And that's the reason for putting out the recommendation um, for masking indoors. Public health already had the mask recommendation in place for those unvaccinated, those in jails and those on public transportation. KCRA 3's Brandy Cummings joins us now. And Brandy, you were part of the county's media briefing this morning. And what did the county public health officer have to say about the increase in cases? Well, so Ty, good afternoon, first of all. And, you know, health officials have long said that they did inspect, expect to see an increase in cases as the state and the county reopened. And so I asked the health officer today if they expected to see the number of cases go up as much as they have so far already. And the simple answer, frankly, is no. They say they did expect to see a little increase in cases, so maybe a 1% or 2% increase in cases. But the case rate continues to increase in Sacramento County and the county is particularly concerned about the increase as it relates to the Delta variant because we know the Delta variant is a lot more contagious than the other variants that we have seen out there. The county says since the reopening, it's only this week that they've actually seen the increase as much as they have. And that's why, as you just heard Dr. Kisirie say, they have reassessed the mask guidelines. They say part of the reason is because of the number of people who are unvaccinated and they talked about some of the hot spots in the county. So, Ty, they're saying the northern part of Sacramento County, specifically Rio Linda, North Highlands, and Citrus Heights are considered unvaccinated hot spots right now where there are few numbers of people who are vaccinated. Back to you. And, Brandy, is the county concerned that this increase in cases can lead to businesses being shut down again or being travel restrictions put back in place? Yes, yeah, so obviously that is of huge concern for a lot of people. The county says right now they're focused on bending that curve and making sure that the number of cases goes down. They really want the cases to plateau and again, just really go down. So right now they say there's no consideration to close businesses or restrict travel again. Part of the reason for that is because the county is saying there is still a substantial number of people who are vaccinated and the number of zip codes that have had those high case rates, they say they've seen that actually go down. It's just that again, that there are these hot spots that they're seeing in places a part, you know, in parts of the county, and those hot spots tend to be a direct correlation to the number of people who are vaccinated. So the county is just re-emphasizing its push to get more people vaccinated, and they said today that as more people do get vaccinated, they anticipate the case numbers will go back down. Ty, Brandy, thanks for attending that meeting and for giving us that update. We appreciate it.